What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve quadratic equations that have imaginary numbers or solutions, all right? So let's start with this one right here. X squared plus nine is equal to zero. Okay, so solve for X over here. We're going to first subtract nine from both sides. Those cancel out. So then we get that X squared is equal to zero minus nine, which is equal to negative nine, all right? Now to get rid of this exponent, we need to take the square root of this side. And what we do to one side, we do to the other, right? So on this side, the square root and the squared exponent just cancel out. So then we're just left with x, right? x is equal to, now, since we're solving for a quadratic, we're going to have two solutions, right? We're going to have the plus minus thing right here. So it's going to be plus or minus this right here, the square root of negative 9. Okay, now we can't actually take the square root of a negative number, so that means we're going to have an imaginary solution, right? So what is the square root of negative 9? Well, the easy way to do this is, well, what's the square root of nine? Well, that's just equal to three. And since we have a negative number in here, that means we're gonna have an I next to it representing our imaginary solution. Okay, so then our answer would be that X is equal to plus or minus three I, right? Positive three I or negative three I, okay? And just in case you're wondering where this I is actually coming from, uh, well, let's do this problem just on the side over here. So the square root of negative nine. So the way you would break this down is you'd first wanna separate the number from the negative sign. So we could write this instead as the square root of nine times negative one. And then we can split up both of these numbers into their own radicals. So we can write it as the square root of nine times the square root of negative one. And then what's the square root of nine? Well, that's equal to three. What's the square root of negative one? That's defined as I, okay? i is always equal to the square root of negative one, right? i is not equal to just any random negative number inside of a square root, right? It's specifically the square root of negative one, okay? So that's where i comes from. So in any case, for our solution over here, uh, again, that's the shortcut way of doing it. Just take whatever the square root of this number is and then just tack on the i at the end. So here, x is equal to plus or minus 3i. All right, let's try one more. So here is x squared plus seven is equal to negative 47, all right? So again, solving for x, we're going to isolate it. So let's subtract seven from both sides. Those cancel out. So we get that x squared is equal to negative 54, it looks like, right? Okay, so to solve for x and get rid of this exponent, again, we just take the square root of both sides. Those cancel out. So then we're just left with x is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 54. Okay, negative 54, or 54 is not a perfect square, right? So we have to kind of break this down a little bit. So we're gonna say, uh, let's do it on this side again. So the square root of negative 54. All right, so first we can say that this is the same thing as 54 times negative one, right? Just separate it from the negative sign. And then we can split them up into their own radicals like so. Okay, so square root of 54 times the square root of negative one. Now 54, we can break that down into nine times six, right? So we can say that this is equal to the square root of nine times the square root of six times the square root of negative one. And what is the square root of negative one? I, right? So we can just say times I like that, right? Uh, so the square root of nine is equal to three. So here we're gonna have three times the square root of six. Uh, can't simplify that anymore. So we'll leave that as the square root of six. And then we have I right there okay so then our answer over here would be that x is equal to plus or minus uh, three root six i so if you found the video helpful definitely leave a thumbs up down below and if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples just let me know in the comment section below